For this video, we're assuming that you're pretty good at Gorilla Tag, or you've already watched this video here. If you haven't yet watched the basics for Gorilla Tag, go watch that first, because we're using tons of skills from that video in this video. But if you've mastered everything in that video, you are ready to move on to the advanced stuff! So stick around, because if you watch this whole video all the way through, you are going to be a pro at Gorilla Tag. So let's jump right in! The very beginning of these is juking. You probably know what juking is. It's super simple concept. Someone's chasing you and you do something really fast that they weren't expecting, which throws them off so you can avoid being tagged. If a tagger's chasing you, keeping sporadic back and forth movements in your running can really throw a tagger off. So let's say I'm running and I jump to the side and I keep running and I jump to the side and they don't know which direction I'm gonna be in. Or let's say they're approaching me and I see them. I can jump to the side and they'll keep running and I can run away. It'll look like this, you're running, and you jump to the side and you keep running and you jump to the side and you keep running aside from just sporadic movement using objects is 100 percent beneficial to you so if you go up to a tree and you're doing your sporadic motions jump into that tree and just jump away it just adds more like what is he gonna do next and just bounce off stuff one of the things you can do is go over their head doesn't really work on any of the good players or experienced players but especially on the beginners it does work when you're running and someone's chasing you just jump over and turn around and run the opposite direction. All of these things have been very much things that you can practice and learn. Some things that we can do that are more technical and take a lot more practice are more advanced and harder, but way worth it. Look how cool this is. They're chasing me. Whatever will I do? I'm cornered. Well, not today. Da, da, da. I'm going up in the sky. And it's super easy once you break it down, but it just takes some time to learn. Before, we had two parallel walls that we could bounce off of back and forth. Now we don't. Now, all we're going to find is a point. Like with pinch climbing, we're gonna find an inverted point. Where it meets is the line you're gonna follow when you're wall climbing. It's super simple if you've mastered wall jumping, where you're gonna bounce off. Instead of going backwards, you're gonna bounce your hand right so you go into the wall. Just like before where we would practice hitting the wall, we're gonna do that, but on here. So with your right hand and your left hand, we're gonna practice this, moving along the wall and hitting the other wall. So it goes like this, wall one, wall two. Here we go. One, two, three. And then with your other hand, one, two, three. Now we're gonna catch ourselves like this. One, two, three. Now we're gonna do it with our other hand. One, two, three. What I'm doing is going at an angle inwards and back. I'm going this kind of direction away from me, like this. And you'll get it down where you get the angle to get yourself into the wall. Now that we've practiced catching ourselves and doing it with both hands, just repeat the process. Throw yourself into the wall, catch. Throw yourself into the wall and catch. And go at an angle that throws yourself up, like this. If you can master wall climbing, wall running will be a lot easier. And things that you can do that make this easier is very wide jumps. You can do this anywhere that there's a point. I feel like this is the easiest place to practice. If you're watching this after the Christmassy stuff is gone, if you look at the speaker, it's the wall behind it. So this is the best place to practice, but you can go other places as well. And now we need to learn wall running. It's what it sounds like. Wall running is running across the walls. The way wall running works is after you do that, you hit as parallel as you can. Parallel to the wall means that if this is the wall, you're hitting straight down with it. That's generally what we're doing. I want you to come over to the hollow tree. I'm gonna show you and get the muscle memory down. This might be weird because we're not actually gonna practice using the walls. Because of how slanted this is, we can slowly practice getting our parallel motion down. Wall running involves very parallel hits. You might be really confused because this is not a parallel or flat wall at all. This is very much a slope that you can slide down. But that's exactly what we're gonna use to practice. If you hit straight down, you're not going anywhere. You're gonna stay Right in generally the middle, if you hit too much this way, you're gonna go up. If you hit too much this way, you're gonna go down. Getting the muscle memory for hitting straight down is super important. By doing this, you're not going up the ramp or going down, then you're hitting parallel. So if you're going all over the place, so now the way you move is by hitting at an angle parallel, so like this. So now we're able to move. And remember, try not to go too high, try not to go too low. What the heck do I do with this information of hitting straight down? For every time you go around with your right hand, do it the opposite direction with your left hand. Use both your hands because if you're not practiced with both your hands, you're gonna come into a situation where you really, really wish you had used both your hands. And how do I practice with both my hands, you might be asking. That's what's up to you. For me, if I logged on three times a day, every time I logged on, I did it five or six times just going around with each hand. I do it five or six times on the hollow tree at least every time you log on. Go in a private lobby, do your left hand, do your right hand, each. 
do each of them five or six times. What do you do after that? Get on top of the hollow tree every time you log on. So if you take it off, get a snack. When you log back in, do it again. Go to this slant here and this kind of bends in and down. You're gonna jump onto this wall. This is daunting and it will be very difficult. It took me forever before I even made it to that part of the wall. This is where you need to know how to do it with your left hand and your right hand. You're gonna jump and you're gonna grab the wall. Remember what I mean by grab is move my hand. Here we go, boom. And then just try to apply what you practice down there and just hit straight down. You might not be able to do it at first, but that's just because it's going to take getting used to the wall as opposed to this. So work your way back up to the top, do it again. Jump, and just go. And here's what it looks like if you can do it. After a lot of practice, if you can make it to this corner here where it kind of gets flat, turn around, grab it with your right hand, and bring it back. Just try your best, see what you're able to do, see how far you can make it, practicing down there, and then jump back. If you can make a trip and then come back, that means you are able to wall run with your left hand and your right hand. I'm so proud of you guys, or at least I think I am. If you have been watching all the way through to the end and you've learned everything on this list, you're a pro at Gorilla Tech. That's all I have right now in this series. If you're new and these tutorials helped you, be sure to subscribe because I have even more videos coming in the future that are gonna be pretty cool. Peace. Peace.